let's move ahead fourth formula is stock to working capital stock to working capital ratio the name is quite self explanatory the formula is stock upon working capital into 100 okay so what is the use of this formula this ratio the bottom line of this formula i'll tell you after telling this this ratio helps us to understand the quality of working capital higher the stock to working capital lower is the quality of working capital will not get into detail over here because that is not the part of our syllabus the importance of this formula this particular formula is for exam point of view it helps us to find the missing figures okay like if in the question stock is given with the help of the stock we can find out the working capital if stock to working capital ratio is already given to us okay or if we get working capital if we get working capital and other such details like over here are provided and we are having working capital and it is provided to us current liabilities we can subtract working capital with current liabilities we'll take current liabilities over here and we'll get current assets okay here we don't need to subtract we just need to add current liabilities to the working capital and we'll get the current asset i hope this is quite clear so you have to be very good with your formulas because the balance sheets the balance sheet will have such figures that almost every formula will be in use okay so you have to be very cautious as soon as you read the question you should map things like which formula you need to write and even if some nearby formula is also necessary you should write it down at the rough page that is at the end of your supplement so that you don't get stuck anywhere i hope this is quite clear to you all so this is very important this all happens in life okay for exam point of view this is very important fifth fifth is proprietary ratio proprietary ratios formula is please write in a good manner because this time i am not writing the formulas in a good manner but i promise i'll provide you all a sheet of formula which will be your revi uh, revision formula uh, a revision sheet for you all before the exam okay but please write this down because all these explanations are worth more than that final sheet okay proprietary ratio is equal to proprietor proprietor's fund divided by total assets many of the student misinterpret this total asset so i just want you all to know total asset is not this one total asset total asset is the one fixed assets long term investment and current asset less this part is not included hope this is quite clear to you all your total assets means this because in the practice manual also it is not specified this things but when solved in the but when the sums are solved many of the students are confused where this total asset came from i am seeing something else in the balance sheet and in the formula it is something like this and many a times you all directly give a judgment that practice manual is wrong and will put our formula only and this is the place where many of the students goes wrong and they do the same mistake in the exam okay i am just indicating the mistake if you have already given the exam please do not repeat that again uh, total your total assets i am giving in writing also your total assets is equal to fa please write in the full forms okay i am writing in short forms fixed assets plus long term investments plus current assets okay and i am specifying this this is different from total assets slash just a moment i have got a call 
this is different from total assets slash total funds employed okay now let's know why this ratio is used this ratio helps us to calculate the proportion of total assets which is funded very much important which is funded by proprietors fund proprietors fund for better understanding owners fund higher the ratio more stable is the company lower the ratio more risky is the company okay so if any of you all are keen in investing buying shares trading so you should do all these things trading is not very easy you have to analyze things just you don't need to blindly put money and later say i have just blindly put it in the in particular shares i thought it it might be a gamble but it is not so you have to check all this and then you will be easily easily able to understand how it how it works how trading works you have to calculate many formulas okay so first of all please copy this much pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied this much please pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied this much also let's move on sixth sixth is debt equity ratio debt equity ratio the formula is debts upon equity this is the shortcut to remember but the actual formula is borrowed funds divided by owners fund i hope if you remember the balance sheet please come to the balance sheet owners fund is in the denominator and the borrowed fund is in the numerator so i hope now you are getting the importance of the balance sheet but at the end after writing one more formula i am going to break all your uh, what we say all your expectations from the balance sheet okay so please don't abuse me for that debt equity ratio debt upon equity borrowed funds upon own funds what is the use of this ratio and very 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 important thing is equity that is the borrowed funds oh, sorry, sorry 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 owners fund includes preference share also why i have written this you will come to know when we will study more formulas this ratio so if you want you can underline this so that you can remember i have said why i have written like this over here before teaching that particular formula equity includes preference shares also this ratio helps to calculate the relation ship between borrowed funds and own funds higher this ratio risk is the company risk is the company in simple sense why if we have borrowed funds more than then that of our own funds then but obvious the company is very risky okay i hope this much is clear so firstly please pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied this much and one more ratio 
the this one ratio i'll be teaching in the next video and i'll be breaking your expectations from the vertical balance sheet but it will help you in the real life this balance sheet will help you in the real life if you are going to trade okay